All right, welcome back. Another day in paradise. We're gonna kill us a slimy stripper. Something I've been wanting to do for three streams. Well, okay, maybe two streams, but this is the third one, and she's gonna die. Come hell or high water. <laughs> right. So we've got Darkseeker, which will steadily refill our I-Core as we poison stuff. That should serve us pretty decently against all the other bosses. Hey, Death Killer. Welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, this one is started off kind of slow, if I'm honest. But I'm not worried. Now, I have killed her before with a casting-only setup. Uh, it was a bit on the difficult side, but it is possible. I'm refreshed, and I'm ready to party. Just hit her immediately with these. There we go. Let the I core commence stacking. Oh, hey. That's somebody I helped kill, uh, Blade Bearer and Cannoneer. I'll respond to what they had to say. Next cigarette break. Oh, God! Probably heal. Take that too. All right. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You can actually pop those little bubbles if you cast a spell directly at them. Something I might do uh, if it gets dicey. Ah, oh, shit. That was a little early. Yeah, that hurts a lot. No, thank you. Oh, it still got me! Get the hell out of here. I'm a little hesitant because she can pop my trap if she uses a projectile. Okay. That could have been fatal if I screwed up. Okay, that was a little scary. But we're good. 
She's making me really, really nervous. I'm not gonna try anything impressive like parrying her while slow. Well, unless it absolutely comes down to it. No, I was slow. I was slow. All right, we're good. We're good. I was a little late with that input. I'm not going to try. Just kill her. Oh, my God. Come on. There we go. She's dead. First try. Hell, yeah. Nice. Persona 5 scramble, huh? Nice. Okay, hell yeah, that was that was a thrill. We got it dead. Who got that got the pulse up? <sighs> okay. You know, Weatherwolf is actually talking about a game, uh, Indivisible. I was looking for a demo, but I couldn't find it. I was quite disappointed. He recommends it quite a bit. Persona 5 Scramble. We've talked about it quite a bit. Is it available on Xbox? Or is it still PlayStation exclusive? I should nix the Wi-Fi on my phone, just in case. You know what? I do have the Xbox app. I could re see what my friend said while I'm doing this. It's PS4, but it's also on switch. I've actually been rather, um, my, my confidence has been shaken as far as videos are concerned. Wait, what? Huh? I appeared, and then I didn't. This does not bode well. <laughs> I figured since I've got, like, five cutscenes I gotta get through, I can reply. But no, one of my other editing projects is not going so good. I made a mistake while I was recording, and now there's an echo I can't get rid of. Quickly, quickly, hit the save point before the game crashes. I'm so scared. Alright, we're good. Beautifuls! Oh yeah, I forgot that notification will continue to pop up. Um, I need... I just learned how to lower the ladder. So, let's go to Cathedral.
but yeah, I've my my confidence in video editing has been quite shaken since I've there's so many mistakes with that previous one. Once I get the other uh, playthrough edited together, I'm, I'll probably focus a lot more on um, the parrying guide. I've got all the footage for the parrying guide, it's just putting it all together in a way that doesn't suck is the tricky part. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um, hmm. Yeah, eh, this should be fine. It should turn around one by one. And not even take a swipe at me. Pardon me, gentlemen. Oh, hello. Get me out of here, please. Okay. That was messy. <laughs> but we live in. Okay. I thought about making a... Well, I probably should. In the Beginner's Guide video, I mentioned a uh, character creator guide. And I've wrote, I've wrote a script for it, and I'll probably just do the voiceover live. Rather than uh, add it in post. And I've kind of been wanting to make a, a build video. One that fits the current update. Speaking of the current update, interestingly enough, they made a few changes with uh, mobility. In the player's favor, actually. Oh, uh, that's just a plasma cartridge and a depth map. Things we do not need. Moving on. So Argent Wolf Berserker. I'm not too terribly worried about him. I'm more worried about the jerks here. But... It'll be fine. I'm more worried about Aurora, if I'm perfectly honest. Successor of the Ribcage? Yeah. She's got one melee move and I'm not even sure if I can parry it if I'm honest yeah, get out of here now if I had ice that would be way better I think the next checkpoint we're gonna go try to grab Davis's blood code just so that we can have ice because fire is not great against these guys First things first, though, let's go ahead and get a nice, delicious uh, regen booster. That was dumb. You know what? She's pretty beefy. Let's poison her. Cool. And now we can run away. Eh <laughs> heh. See you later, bitch. She's not dead yet? Oh god. Now you're dead. Didn't even drop anything. What a cheapskate. I also mentioned making a NPC guide. That one... That one will be lengthy, if I'm honest. Ow. I deserved that pain.
Now, when it comes to ending, I'm very tempted to go for neutral ending. Very, very tempted to go for neutral ending. Uh, this is going to be a clusterfuck, so let's just die someplace over here. How far will they chase me? They'll, they'll chase me for a pretty d long distance. I really wish I could use a launch attack. And even at the best of times, that uh, bad idea area is brutal. Uh, I've also... I still need to make a few more notes when it comes to the valuable trading guide. But, uh... A lot of my time has been wrapped up futiling... futiling... Uh, trying to get the other video series to work. Specifically, the uh, editing screw ups. I am by no means a professional editor. I'm kind of teaching myself. Just die, please. Oh, they're blood resistant, right? I'm gonna die. No, thank you. Wait for the teleport. No, she deagroed. That's interesting. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, I did use the thing. So that's good. Alright, she's dead. Whew, that was scary. <laughs> Wait, where, where am I go Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Got turned around a bit there. There is... Um, I can't remember if it's Queen Steel or Queen Iron over here. Alright, I already grabbed it, I can tell on the mini-map. Right. Perfect. I was I actually didn't think I got that one. But we're good. We're good. Is there any reason to grab the stinky cheese? It's not that great of a trading item, if I'm honest. It's still alive. I probably don't even need slow removal anymore. Uh, that. That'll work. Um, do we want to go that way? No. No, we don't. Well, okay, yes, we do. I do want this awake module, however. 
we do want to go this way because this is the correct way. Again, I got turned around. Uh, this is probably going to kill me, so let's heal. Oh, this isn't great. Well, first death of the day. great at carrying these ones. So. That'll work. Uh, I want my haze. Just kidding. I'm gonna have to get much better at parrying the straight sword assholes. That 56k will be useful for something. Probably snatching up Davis's gifts. I mean, if they ever patch that, I'm gonna be screwed. But probably not. They'd have to overhaul how the entire uh, save function works, how the autosave works. Was there... Was there any gift that I wanted to level up? I think Darkseeker was the only... One I was incredibly interested in. And I'm currently... Currently leveling that up as we speak. I don't even know what I would use it on, because the unique passive for... Darkseeker is very useful. It's going to fuel so much more spell casting. I'm also gonna love with you. I am a bit sleep deprived. My cat decided she wanted to play at 5 in the morning. So I woke up to her trying to kill one of her toys around my ankles. I thought she was going to move in again. Alright. That's not the right way. Okay. There we 
we go, it's dead. I wonder if I should switch to a different blood veil. I was not expecting to get that parry. I'm glad it works, though. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, moving on. So, let's go ahead and uncover the map for reasons. to be cool. So aggressive. No! Uh, damn it. Couldn't even get the checkpoint. I probably should have done that. Oh, God! Well, that's not good. You know what? Let's go ahead and change out the batteries before uh, I forget and then die horribly. Hooey! There we are. Alright, she's reaching around behind me. That's gotta be the reason why I keep getting demolished like that. We're just going to block instead. Didn't happen. I want that 71k. Okay. Mm, so this is a... This is a thing. I just got this feeling that today isn't my day. Just, 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 just feeling I got. I'm gonna blame my cat for it. Okay, so, how can I do this differently? I kind of felt like I was going to die when, uh, when I tried to cast that poison spell. There's a flash in the back of my mind. I was like... You're probably going to get demolished for that. And then it happened. We might stop after Arjun Wolf Berserker, depending on how long that takes. Now, not, not being able to use melee is problematic, to say the least. I 
And with this current setup, I am chubby AF. My dodging capabilities are not the greatest. Alright, start with a little bit of frame stutter in there. Really wish I had ice. I've learned my lesson. She's gonna push me off the edge. She knew what I was going to try to do. Okay. She's dead. Nine I core. That does not fill me with confidence. Let's just try to parry this guy to death. Okay. Yeah, straight. And then this one worries me a bit. of blocks. I'm gonna try to use... Alright, that didn't work. We're gonna heal. Because I don't feel like dying. That didn't gain me very much high core. Gently. There. Ooh. She's dead now. Okay, that scared me quite a bit. Right, but... I learned my lesson. We're just gonna race over here. My indecision is what got me there. Hey, saints be praised. Okay. The game is like, nope, you're not allowed to parry these ones. Alright, well, so be it, game. All I want to do is uncover the map. Hello, friend. Is this fatal? It is. Splendid. You're up.
Yeah, she keeps reaching around behind my guard. Which means I'm not able to parry her. Well, okay. Reaching around... ...behind my parry. Okay. I need to stop trying to do that. Don't you dare do it, game. That's effed up. Death. She's gonna push me off the edge, and I don't want that to happen, obviously. But she's also being really aggressive. gonna be really cautious here. Just die already. Come on. God damn. What a fight. That was barely a fight. Who am I kidding? Oh god. This place makes me very worried. Don't exactly have a good way to fight them. Well, let's get as far as we possibly can before we die horribly. Maybe. Maybe we'll be able to reach the checkpoint. I'm, uh, not exactly hopeful. Since these things teleport, it's very, very, very like it's very difficult just to run away from them. Alright, I'm feeling a little bit better about this. The Halberd ones, they're rebuilding my confidence a bit. So that's good, I guess. Amazing Queen Steel. Ah, staggered her. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we should kill that one because she's probably going to come after us when we try to go the normal route. Yeah, if we just skip over the Rubelite Piercer. Grab the Rubelite Piercer so that we can sell it later. It's a bad weapon! Out of all of the bayonets, I think the Rubelite Piercer is my least favorite. I thought it was cool on the first playthrough, but now I know better. Okay, new shortcut. Uh, okay, I know I know where the okay. Well, we'll go ahead and grab impulse anchor for the same reason we picked up the rubelite piercer. We can sell it whenever we go back to home base. And thankfully, we're practically there. We're practically at the next checkpoint. 
Uh, I am not liking my amount of I-Core. Oh, hello, friend. How much queen steel do we have? We got three. We need one more to power up our stuff. But we need to head back to home base and see if we can't get access to Davis's blood code. Because he has frost spike. And that'll be enormously helpful. We should also try to get uh, Mia's blood code as well. Because that's got a lot of really nice ice-based powers as well. Guard of Honor, in addition to uh, Freezing Roar, and Ice Armor. But I think Freezing Roar is... Well, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure Guard of Honor requires the Vestige Cores for Mia. And that's a good long ways off still. But we should be able to get Freezing Roar at the very least. That's a big heavy hitting spell. Well, okay. It's not bad. I should say that at least. It's not bad. Alright, Davis. Cough it up. Alright. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate. Mia, please. It's something. Right. So Coco already gave me hers. Uh, Yakumo, Lewis, Io. Well, I have to kill a success before I can get Io's. Let's purchase a few things from Artemis at least. Oh, I can get both of them. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Now, an enormous problem with Artemis is I do not have enough strength to uh, properly wield... Oh, God. I don't have enough strength to properly wield the um, Zweihander. Oh, what? I beg your pardon? Strength is D, and I need D plus for that. Okay. Well, okay. You know what? Focused gift speed is alright. Could be much, much, much better, though. Wait, I don't want guard drain. Well, maybe I do. No, let's slap it over here. We'll keep Venom Shot and Venom Web, or Venom Trap, on there. At least I can use Iron Will. Uh, somewhat surprised by that. That'll, that'll help us out a little bit, I guess. Um... Okay, thank God. We could just talk to Davis. I was afraid I'd have to teleport away before I'd be able to grab his blood code. But Hermes is all right. Uh, steady Bulwark would also be pretty decent. We'll grab it. This one? That one's a maybe. Ooh. You know, let's grab it. I don't think I have another 109. Well, another skill that requires 109s. I'll probably regret that later. But we did it. We've got spells that will deal quite a significant amount of damage to the enemies here. So that's a relief, to say the least.
and we'll focus on leveling up the Artemis skills so that we can go back to um, this other one, whatever it's called. So we can go back to Darkseeker. Considering that these enemies will teleport after you if you try to run away, we will be killing them all just so that we can make it through. The little pukes we might not need to actually dis kill. But the other guys we are going to have to kill. There's a whole pile of 212s laying around. So we might be able to level up Steady Bulwark by the time we get to Argent Wolf Berserker. If not, we can level it up shortly afterwards. Because there should just be a pair of them right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's some damage. Uh, you ho. Oh no, I'm thinking of the other the other place. Oh, right. I don't have free eye core from Dark Seeker. I'm just going to grab this. Can parry shield bashes. And dead. Why do I keep trying to parry the teleport slash? It's not going to work. Well, with Artemis, unfortunately, I can't block it, so... Yeah. And honestly, Venom takes a few hits to apply. So it's not ideal. Well then, I just got shut down. Parry spam! I am Parry King. Or Queen, considering my character is female. So let's gaze longingly at this one while we wait for the inhibit to wear off. Now, I think I'll lead off with a freezing roar. not following up her attacks, which is annoying. She's not dead yet. I need to get a parry in order to have a chance. could have gone a lot better. I could have also used Blood Sacrifice. Not that I'm thinking about it. In the heat of the moment, I wasn't thinking clearly, though. Great. More of these jerks. There's actually a twofer in here. There's one hiding around the corner. That can't be seen just yet. Awesome. Oh. 
So lucky. Too early. Fortunately, Venom will go through shields. She's not quite dead yet. This is a bit not great. We'll go ahead and activate this for the time being. Just in case. Just in case things do not go as planned. How about you? Much better. Do we want to open up that shortcut? Yes, we do. Oh, there. I actually wanted to refill my I-Core. More so than I wanted to open up the shortcut. Alright, I'm starting to get my parry legs. It's a lot like sea legs, but only with parrying. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> Had a flash of panic there. Hey, big ugly. Yeah, yell at that. Uh, she seems to be... a little bit resistant to ice. Got enough queen steel to upgrade our th uh, blood veil. But we will be getting Night Thorn later on, if I'm not mistaken. Unless I already have it. No, we do not have it. If it's not Night Thorn, we'll be getting Night Fang. Which Night Fang has got pretty decent resistances, all things considered. Alright, just in case things go wrong. Yeah, that's very not... Okay. Very impressive. Come on. Right, that's an anti-status field. Despite it looks like a foul blood barrier, it is anti-status. And we're dead. But she died too. Take that. Okay. Uh, I am quite, quite worried, if I'm going to be honest. Hello. Like, throughout the entire course of this playthrough, fights are very, very drawn out and protracted. It's, uh, not great. Oh, nice. Is it just me, or am I getting a lot of those? I mean, I'm not com gonna complain. Deserve that. You 
need to remember to dodge the first one. Okay. That one should have registered. We'll heal while she's on the ground, and one more parry should finish her off. I have to be a little bit more conservative with my Icor, since I'm not just going to get free Icor whenever I poison something. That was too early. There we go, that's a bit better. Well, that poison wore off really quickly. Is this gonna kill her? Now we're fine. She's dead now. Didn't drop anything, though. Okay, so this one. They know I want the parry, so they're not going to make it easy on me. There we go, we'll go with that tactic. You dodge the first one, parry the second one. Can't parry shield bashes. At least I haven't been able to. Dodge the first swing, parry the second. We'll just go, yeah. This actually seems to be working out okay. Alright, made it to the next checkpoint. That's a relief. We are slightly wounded. How much high core does this start with? Starts with 30? Yeah, we're gonna refill it. Oh, uh, yeah, I could go to Gustav's side quest. Ah, uh, we need to reach the Ridge of Frozen Souls first. If I am going to be making use of Dark Seeker, I will be picking up Opportunism. But you can't get opportunism until you do all of Gustav's first section of the side quest where you collect all of the reports for him. Okay, death comes for the Arch Pseudo. Nice. Same song, second verse. You can't actually parry that. His, uh, rude little smack. You can definitely, definitely parry that. I was hoping I could. There we go. He should be gone. I was expecting to die. Hell yeah. And now we've got very powerful healing. Check this out. Boom! 600. Okay, maybe it's not very powerful, but it's better than nothing. Alright, ugly. I'm in your head. I can read what you're thinking. I read you like an open book. Oh god! Please no. Classic heel bait.
They try to run in and punish your healing, and you just parry them. Because you know they're going to try to swing at you the moment they get close. Oh, I didn't, I didn't think I got that one at first. Come on, you knew I was going to do that. You deserve to be parried for that one. Alright, this is how I die. Alright, we're fine. Man, there's not a goodie over there, is there? No. Ooh, this is... This is frightening, to say the least. How close are we to... Okay, we still got quite a bit of ways to go before we can use the uh, Artemis gifts on something else. Alright, we're fine then. I'll ref refill my eye core with you. Hello, sir. Thank you for your contribution to my I Corp pool. Uh, we should have another guy coming after us when we grab this. No, I guess I'm just going blind. Uh, we are going to do a little bit of looting in this area. Normally, I just blast through straight through, sticking to the uh, designated route. But this time around, we're going to do a little bit of exploring. Because... Here we go. There's a few pieces of queen steel laying around here. That I very, very much want. And then we'll loop back around to the proper side. I believe it's right here? Yes. Excellent. We've got quite a healthy amount of queen steel now. We'll crack open the shortcut, and then go along the correct route. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's more stuff here. Da, 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 da. This is like a somewhat pointless shortcut, but we'll open it up anyways. Yep. Back down here. There are a few rooms I skipped over. Uh, we'll be visiting them once we lower the ladder. This will pull two guys to me. I panicked. I died. Um, well, I haven't died yet. Certainly felt like I was going to. Is this Bud Buddy coming? Yo, stupid. I'm not through with you. Yeah, what? What are you going to do about it? Okay, he's dead. <laughs> that was slightly a waste. But it's fine. Crack this open. Should we kill the guy on this bridge? Yes, because I only have six Icor. Hello, friend. Time to die. Alright. I forgot how to parry. This is very, very, very bad. Because there's a lot of scary stuff ahead. And I can't heal. Yeah, this works. Originally, my plan was I was going to knock him off the edge with the spell. 
but can't win them all. This guy's going to get knocked off, though, so that he will wait down there for me to finish collecting all of this other stuff. Ooh, actually picking up some anti-inhibit would be a very good idea, if I'm honest. Surprise. I was slow. Did not do that effectively. Well, once we lower the ladder, we don't really have much reason to come back down here. And the scary things that I'm worried about are in the other place. Double checking. There is a map marker down there that we want. Knock that one off, and we'll parry this one. Gorgeous. So many lost Verdishes. I'd prefer to have awake modules, but eh. Casters can't be choosers. Beggars can't be casters? I don't know. I like the other one. Oh, hello. You're gonna kill me, huh? She's learning. I don't appreciate it. There we go, got it. And while she's on the ground, we're gonna blast her with another poison spell. And to finish off the poisoning, with a trap. There's a trap. That probably won't be enough to kill her. Oh, wait, it was. Nice. Now, we could just chicken our way up the ladder. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> There's a drain actuator sitting up there. Woo. But I don't feel like getting inhibited and killed when the checkpoint is this close. All right. Outstanding. Whew, okay. We should... Um... You know what, let's just keep rolling with our, uh... Uh, GXL. Because I don't think I have any better drain... Uh, blood veils. I believe I have Night Spear, which is on par... With, uh my current blood veil but it is a thorn style which means parrying will be more difficult and since charged drain attacks are banned that's one of the useful things it's also the other reason why I'm not using an ivy blood veil believe me if I could start off a fight with a charged ivy drain attack that would be amazing that would be much 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 easier but Parries are the only drain, drain attack allowed. Can't even do backstabs with the way my rules are set up. Uh, upgrade Blood Veil. Let's take a look here. So drain rating for Night Claws, 0.5. These are both 0.67. Because they're the same. 0.5. Here we go. Night Spear is 0 0.67. 0 0.83. Oh. And it's good for... Um, 
and it's good for uh, um, dark gifts as well. It's got quite a bit of gift scaling, light and dark. But it is a thorn style, so parrying is going to be very difficult. 8.57, I think we'll stick with this for now. got much better light scaling. This has got obviously better dark scaling. Wait, what does this thing do? Oh! Oh, okay. I thought that was the scale down difficulty, and I was a little confused because I'm on base game difficulty. Okay, so Queen's Knight, I'm also not very worried about. Whenever we get through... Um, whenever we get past the Argent Wolf Berserker. I have not practiced parrying him, so... Probably gonna die a few times. And considering how... Backstabs are banned, the normal way of cheesing him is off the table. We're just, just gonna have to be a lot of... Really, really precise parrying and then blasting him when he's on the ground I don't actually know what he's weak to I assume it's ice but I could be very wrong also when he buffs himself he will do more stamina damage so that's not a good sign that, that's not a good thing I almost swung my weapon at her. Almost bopped her with the pipe. Alright, outstanding. Moving on. Now, by the time we get Goddess's Smile on the Ishtar Blood Code, we should be pretty well set. Uh, I am... I'm, I'm thinking ahead about fighting Skull King with a pure caster setup. And Goddess's Smile and Cleansing Light together do a pretty decent job of healing you from using Blood Sacrifice, so it might not be that bad. It, it could be kind of okay. But Dark Seeker will fall flat on account of not being able to... <clears throat> excuse me. On account of not being able to poison him. Same for Virginborn. Can't poison either one of them. Now, normally, you would do a plunging attack on uh, this beastie. Uh, yeah, she heard that. Oh, right, I can't do backstabs. I made a stupid. Alright. She should be dead now. Didn't drop anything, but that's fine. Right, so... Uh, let's just blast her.
You should swing at me. You fool. You activated my trap card. Actually, I didn't use it. I just... parried him. That phrase doesn't work so well on account of me actually having a trap card. Uh, there should be a thing over here. But I believe we will... check that platform first? No, it doesn't appear like there is anything. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I made it there. Alright, yeah, we're good, we're good. I believe there is a thing over on this path. Honestly, I'm just going to go open up the shortcut. It is a very, very not necessary shortcut, but... Wait. I thought there was a goodie over here. I must be imagining things. How unfortunate. Alright, whatever. Now, the monkeys might be a bit of a problem. Yada. Uh, what's his parrier again? Or not? Oh, that didn't work. Oh, the monkeys die really easily. Oh, you can parry them. I don't think it does much of anything. It seems like they also nerfed the effects of poison. Or maybe it's just me. You damn dirty apes. Let me take a peek, skis. I don't see any items over there. Likewise, there's nothing here. Alright, I was just legitimately imagining it. Oh, okay. That's mildly distressing. That could be worse. Ow. Don't you... shield? Shame on you. Closing in on Argent Wolf Berserker. I am pretty wounded, but it could be much worse, if I'm honest. Could be a lot worse. Yo, what up? Uh, can I still poison her? Not quite. So 
The little venom shot actually does kind of okay uh, damage. There's my night thorn. Point six two drain rating, so it's kind of okay. It's not the best, but it's kind of okay. Much better mobility with my current weapon. No change with the other one. Although that can be switched around as needed. Uh, slightly better dark gift. How is the defense looking? Better elemental defense, not much of an improvement for the other stuff. Is this the thing I'm thinking of? No. Alright, I'm just going bonkers. I am very, very, very tempted to start using the Raven Fatigue. Very tempted indeed. For this tiny ass platform. I'm gonna die. Okay. Yeah, this isn't looking good for Argent Wolf Berserker. Ooh, can't believe I actually got that. We're gonna have to continually parry her. So that we can refill what I core we can in anticipation for the Argent Wolf Berserker fight. Isis Chrome. More stuff to sell, I guess. So we will refrain from leveling up so that we can actually get um, all of our gifts mastered. Not going to go that way because there are some monkeys over there. And a pair of monkeys sounds like a bad time to me. How many regen inducers do we have total? Oh, hardly any. Well, that's not good. Fire this up for reasons. Now this guy is immune to poison. That's not impressive damage. And he will speed up as the fight goes on. And yeah. Nothing. No, no poison. I could try to do stun. No, there's not enough time to parry him. 
he's just gonna demolish me. All right, time for a challenging boss again. Okay. Do I have stun stuff? Time out. Time out. Do I have stun things? I have stun trap. I don't think I have stun shot. No, I don't think he gets stun shot until much later. He is very weak to stun, so it might be worthwhile. I'm going to go for a cigarette and think over my strategy for this fight.
Okay, so we've got a couple of small problems. My haze is stuck in there with the berserker. There's a lot of really problematic enemies in between here and there. I don't know how to parry him. Not gonna lie, this could go poorly. Okay, got a little worried there for a second. Look, lady, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Is it safer to drop down and go the long way? That's what I want to know. I'm glad I was focused. Otherwise, she would have staggered me out of that parry. For the monkeys, I'm just going to hit them with a venom web a trap. And then when the venom wears off, I'll hit them with another one. I don't know if that's actually going to kill him, though. Still up. That's unlucky. I have to spend a lot of Icor just to kill these guys. Yeah, pairing is out of the question. Okay. Fight these things one at a time. Try to parry as best we can. Oh, they're both coming at me. Time to leave. Right. Okay, this could have gone a lot better. But I made it back to my haze. I actually have no idea how to parry this guy. Looks like we're just gonna have to focus on parrying his opening attack. And then hitting him with a spell immediately afterwards. Parry the buff. I don't want to get too far away because then he'll do the thing I don't want him to do. No, this please. Thank you. And if I miss, I get hit. Oh, this is so stressful. He's only going to get faster, too. And we're dead. Ooh, this is going to be a hell of a fight. Let's swap out a couple of spells and see which one actually is better. Because ice is not impressive as far as killing him is concerned. Let's get rid of these because he's immune to poison. Just toss on Flame Spike, move Ice Spike up there, throw in Bloodshot. 
We're going to keep Freezing Roar and Guard of Honor on there so that we can level them up while we try to work our way towards it. And then we'll probably swap to Dark Seeker so that we can build up i as we make our way towards him. Dark Seeker isn't going to be perfect on account of it relies heavily on being able to poison enemies. But it's got fairly decent casting stats, so it could be worse. Got her. Now let's just kill her. Or not. There. That was laughably small damage. Okay, time for the little guys. How does this work? <laughs> not well. Fire and Blood seems to work pretty decently against those guys, at least. And we can aggro these ones one at a time. If we're careful. She doesn't want to get parried. Alright. That's fine. It's totally fine. I'm just gonna hit her with one of these. One more parry and that'll do it. Got her that time now. Okay, time for the other one. Should be a little bit easier because it doesn't have a shield. Hello. Slightly better i -Core. We're going to wait for Iron Will to come back. Might as well have us a little bit of a seat. I don't think he's going to be able to kill me outright. At least not in phase one. So. 456 versus 456. All right. Who's 77? Alright, well... Looks like we're just gonna stick with ice. This is where it starts falling apart. can't get the parry out in time. Take that. That was pure luck, if I say so myself. We need Iron Will going again immediately. Stop it. Stop it.
This is very lackluster damage. I think we're gonna die again. Yep. Hmm. How can we effectively kill him is the question. Yeah, I thought everything was going to be fine once we get Darkseeker. <laughs> this is... This is not fine. This is a little less than fine. Hello. Might as well pop you with a... Bloodshot just to kill you. Oh, you're not dead yet. Oh well, now you are. Yay! Just a little bit more, and we'll have Guard of Honor. There we go, got her that time. That monkey's gone, for now. Right. Whoo! Barely got her. Do something I can parry. She's on to me. Patience is boring out. Too early, I guess? Deserve that. God, this one is vicious. Why was she being so mean? Not good for our chances against Argent Wolf Berserker, but we'll try our best. We, we're still kind of learning him. I'm just gonna kill her. Yeah, that was a waste.
Oh, that was so close. And I am focused, so we're gonna hit him with big booms. Did less damage than I was hoping it would do. Alright, that is a good attack we can parry. It's got a long wind up. Try to keep an eye out for that one. Don't want to try and parry those other attacks. That's why I don't want to try to parry them. That one also has a bit of a wind-up to it. Stand behind him. Will he do it again? No. I don't believe his buff will wear out. I'm really not doing much to him, unfortunately. He's not doing his other attack. Oh, shit. Is this unlucky, or is he just not gonna do it? I'll have to try to parry that attack. Flawless. And it's only going to get worse as the fight progresses. I think I need to use Blood Sacrifice and just try to burst him down as much as I can. How many... How many Icor Concentrates do we have on hand? Nope. We have a few. I think it might be time to use them. No, no, no. I want to save them for Aurora. That did do a healthy chunk of damage. Wait, did she drop anything? Yep. Who fills me with despair? Two lucky parries. Fire does seem to be a little bit more effective against these guys. I can feel my confidence slipping again. Confidence renewed. Just died. Okay. 
She's in my head and I don't like it. That's not good. I need that for something. I need all my haze for reasons. <sighs> okay. This is a damn struggle. <clears throat> I'm studying the replay. Figure out where I went wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, the stun trap, I'm, I'm trying to think, I'm thinking that stun trap isn't actually going to work. I do have it available, but Stun Trap and Stun Shot come from two different blood codes, so it'll be difficult to get both. I don't even think I can, if I'm honest. I won't get Stun Shot until much later. Maybe it's even in one of the depths, and I didn't have any plans on visiting them. I might go to... Um... Zero District, just so that I can pick up debuff buildup. But that is also a maybe. By the time I have access to debuff buildup, I probably won't even need it. Because that's a pretty late game perk. How am I going to get past this? I could try blocking him. I, I, I could try switching blood codes. And then blocking him. But that doesn't feel like it's a very smart idea. One of the buffs he has will cut through your defenses. So that's a thing. How am I gonna kill him? I felt like that was a little too early. Yeah, just die. Not... I don't feel like dealing with you. Those cartridges are pretty worthless. Oh shit, too much. We're good? Seems like we're good. That steps me forward a small bit. I feel like I might have activated the other one. We're good. Unless I just activated them now. Too far away. Time to leave. All right. We might try just running past them, if I'm honest. It could turn out very poorly for me, but...
kind of grasping at straws here. I don't think that's parryable. Alright, that convinces me. You can't parry that move. Bad, 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 bad. Very bad. Well, that settles it. Can't heal. That does laughably small damage. Yeah, two spikes would be a better option. Well, we're dead in one hit, so let's try to get a parry on him. Nope. <clears throat> the problem is it's very, very difficult to read which move he's going to do. Although I guess it doesn't really matter. It seems like whenever I dodge, it's the uh, same timing no matter what. How close are we to that one? I'm ready to switch to... Uh, <clears throat> I'm ready to switch to a blood code where I can use my... Okay. I just switch to a blood code where I can use my Zwaghander. My shield. Well, that was funky. Not feeling super confident. Well, I guess the monkeys are easily dealt with. Could be much worse.
There, jeez. We'll hit, it, hit her with a big boom while she's getting up. to parry the moment that slash comes out. Which is not very great. It feels really, really risky. Focus on alternating whoops, between the two spike spells. Getting as many parries as we can in this first part. Jeez, you need to, like, parry as it's coming out. Ah, a follow-up, of course. Was the timing just a few frames off? I'm watching the replay. My, my character flashed white and I got smacked in the face. Maybe it's not parryable. I do have quite a bit of Queen Steel, thanks to running through here endlessly. I might want to upgrade the Raven Fatigues, although I might pick a different version just because it looks better. That way I can get a little bit more extra damage from spell casting since the parrying strategy isn't working. close. That was unlucky. This thing is the worst. Because it could just shield bash.
Just die. I'm having a very hard time believing this. Want my 100k. Alright. We're just gonna run through that room. From now on, we're just gonna run. It takes too much time to fight the shield one, and they're too unpredictable. They've got too many moves with the shield. Like, raising the shield and the unparryable shield bash. It's just too... it's not gonna work. <sighs> Probably should have spent some time yesterday figuring out how to parry the Argent Wolf Berserker. Well, that's... If I can't beat Argent Wolf Berserker today, that's probably what I'm going to be doing. Well, I do need to go to the grocery store before it gets too late, because I am out of decaf tea. It's only one in the afternoon. I still got plenty of time for nightfalls. And sooner or later, I will have leveled up Guard of Honor, and I can go back to using the Zweihander. That might be the key. That might actually be what I need to do. Because dodging him isn't incredibly difficult. I'm pretty sure I've dodged against him with a fat build. Burger King Slayer. Yo. say so. Let's just run. Alright, that worked better than expected. I don't think I have access to slow shot.
Nope, there's not enough time to parry. There's barely enough time to parry that one. I can parry that. seems so wildly inconsistent. Still feel I still feel like this is just pure luck. Yeah, we're dead. We're getting closer though. We are getting closer. So that's good news. It seems like the running strategy worked out pretty okay. It would probably be suicide just to run the entire distance, but that one room that gives me troubles is probably safe to run through. I keep pausing to check the progress on Guard of Honor. I did. Could have gone better. I wish I could backstab you. Nope. Okay, okay. 
pretty soon he's going to speed up too fast for me to be able to parry that. Leatherwolf, welcome, welcome. We've reached a very difficult boss. I can't use my usual cheese ball strats. Shouldn't have gotten beat up that much. Come on. Just getting wrecked. Yikes, that's not good. Wait, where's the other one? Back at it. So not being able to backstab this guy is a huge problem. Once he starts speeding up, it becomes very, very difficult to parry. We're dead. That was so fast. <sighs> I'm quickly losing hope. I really don't think we're going to be able to beat him today. But we've almost got Guard of Honor maxed out, and then we'll switch off of Artemis. Artemis is such a bad blood code, I hate it. I mean, I imagine it's good with the proper setup, but uh, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of Artemis. Ah, and you know what? A smart person would have used Ice Guard and leveled that up, too. Oh, well. Hey, there we go. We got that. I'm curious, though. What does Ice Guard need to level up? So we might be able just to do it outright. Alright, Artemis... Two twelves. We are one shy. Mm. 
not outstanding. We'll just roll with Dark Seeker. Mind Willpower. I'm looking at the uh, Mind and Willpower stats to see what's go best bet. Uh, it appears as though Dark Seeker is our best bet. Artemis is very high willpower, which means very good dark gifts. But, at least with this one... Ah. Of course. Right, well... We'll try Hunter. I will probably need that. Okay, see you soon. I felt like it was wrong. But she's dead? She's dead. Alright, time to run. feeling that was going to happen. Alright. Now, we can actually block some of this Phase 2 nonsense. Alright, well, they're being nice and loud next door. Very dead. Okay. You know how I said I would be really easy to dodge him with a fat roll? I lied. I lied to myself, and I lied to you. I hope you can forgive me. Alright, well, let's swap those out, because they're only somewhat useful. Put that back in. I want a cheap way to deal with the monkeys. I'm just going to nuke her. Oh, 
Ah, excellent. Alright, well I dodged that bullet, so we've got a little bit more HP going into this. Uh, what do I actually want to do? We'll just have to have a breakthrough. This guy is a little bit unfortunate because in order to parry him, we'll do damage to him, which means he's very likely to just advance to the next phase. That's an attack we can parry. I think that'll be the strategy. So we'll just block everything until we get an attack we can actually parry. He doesn't actually seem to be doing very much stagger damage. Does it? Jeez, I wish he would do something different. Ouch. 
goddamn time. We're also gonna heal. progress. Just gotta focus now. That was so risky. I don't want to, don't want to do that. I think we might have him though. There, finally. Whew, Jesus. Oh, okay. See you later, Leather Wolf. Thanks for stopping by. He's dead. Thank God he's dead. Oh jeez, that that was draining. Uh Let's rest here. Okay. So let's take a look and see what goodies we could use. Um Do I have Merciless Reaper? That takes two twelves. Where is Merciless Reaper? Is it under Assassin? Yes, yes, here we go. Oh wow, it takes two twelves as well? Huh? This could be good. I believe we're just going to have to use Assassin, if I'm honest. Yeah, there's a lot of useful stuff we want with Assassin. Merciless Reaper, Sharpened Fangs. Maybe Stun Trap. By the time we get to the other Argent Wolf Berserker, we should have access to that. We also still need to do this from Artemis. Sucks. Uh, this is actually a non-elemental type of attack, so we'll go ahead and grab both of those. Ooh, that, that sounds quite incredible, if I'm honest. Take a look here, see if there's anything else I want to grab. Foul blood bar barrier would be nice, maybe. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and grab this one for reasons. That also requires two twelves. Stun removal is kind of not that great. I'm not going to waste haze on it. Uh, bloody impact. Also kind of me. I think we got the stuff we wanted from Coco. Yeah, that's not that great. We've got only two things we want out of here. Deft parry. Ah, uh, that's probably not going to be very useful, if I'm honest because we're not really spending a whole lot of stamina to begin with. Alright, yeah, that's good enough. So, Artemis then. Swap in that. Actually, Bloodshot is somewhat useful. I assume there's lots of things there that are weak to blood damage, considering they're just little puke enemies. Um, yeah, I'll pop that back in there too. Alright. 
Now, some of the big guys do worry me as far as parrying them is concerned. The red dudes, the big red dudes in this area are quite troublesome. Just like the big red dudes in dried up trenches. They can be very, 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 very disorienting to try to kill them. We'll try to snap a good screenshot and then probably call it a day. Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Well, we, we, we accomplished what I wanted to do. We killed Argent Wolf Berserker. Ooh, so this challenge run is a lot more challenging than I was anticipating it being. I think we want to do just a nice, easy, gentle, straightforward challenge next time. Probably hammers or axes, one of those two. Axes are kind of suck. Com like, they, they're about as slow as a hammer, but not as much damage. So, yeah, axes only would be okay. They're in a weird spot in between halberds and, um, in between halberds and hammers. I could always just do halberds only. That wouldn't be bad. I do like my halberds quite a bit. Where's... No, oh, there we go. I have an idea for what kind of screenshot I want. Go ahead and save here, so that if the game crashes, it won't be my fault. Oh wait, I made it dumb. Turn that on. We'll reset him. I'll hit him with a blood shot while taking a screenshot. Wrong button. A little bit too early. Damn it, wrong button again. Please. I just want a good looking screenshot. That's all I want for Christmas. There we go. That's fairly decent. Just smacked him right in the armpit. And I'm also using a crappy pipe weapon. That'll show him. Pipe's actually not too bad, as far as damage is concerned. Well, okay, no, I'm kidding. It's not too bad as far as weight is concerned. And considering how I'm using an alleviated pipe... Yes! Yes, that's fine. Okay, that'll do it. Who, Queen's Knight. Queen's Knight, I don't have a lot of experience parrying him, but it shouldn't be too bad. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it won't be too bad. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. 
I think I'm going to struggle a lot just getting to the Queen's Knight. But we should be able to level up our uh, skills pretty quickly here. Right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. And thanks for taking a look at this after the fact. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a good day.